Today guys, I'm gonna show you how to make Sheep VR for PC. All you need is a smartphone and a VR box and you can play your favorite games. Make sure to watch this video till the end. What's up everyone, I'm the happy new video, we are back again with another tutorial. Before we get started, I wanna give shout out to my homies, Bindus for the idea and Captain Toll for the help, I really appreciate you guys. Right now, let's get started. First thing that you need to install is the Steam VR. If you don't have Steam, just google it, download the setup from their website and install it. Make account and log in. Very simple. I will leave the link for Steam VR in the description. After you install it, we are gonna do the second step. Now we need to install Riftcat, make sure to download it from their website and install it in your computer this program has the free version that can let you play 10 minutes per session and the paid version gonna cost you $19 and it doesn't have limit time to use but there is the other versions like vrich plus game wrap for 24 bucks that has unlimited time and not only that you can play non VR games in VR bind VR controller to mouse and keyboard and the last thing head tracking in classic games non VR yeah that's crazy but all of that we're gonna try the free version to see if it's worth it or not let's get to the third step we're gonna install vridge on my smartphone so i can connect my phone with my computer together now guys i have the application first we're gonna open the program on my computer yep this is it riftcat client and there is two way to connect your phone you can use wi-fi or usb if you have a good wi-fi you can use it but for me i'm gonna use the usb because it's a lot better and if you have problems connecting your phone just check out this link this is the cable and bam after we connected the phone with the USB, we need to open the hotspot. And right here, we're gonna press yes. Okay, we should be good. And we need to open now vridge as you can see now it says is that your device redmi note 8 so we're gonna press yes now we are in the main menu of vridge i was waiting for this box to make this video i bought vr box shine cons so i can try this thing this vr box is kind of cheap so i will not expect a really really good experience from it but i hope it does the work so let's unbox this thing As you can see guys we dropped the phone in the VR box and the VRidge is ready in my phone. Let me show you my settings. So about the resolution I kept it like that. Even the gamma I didn't touch it. So for the frame rate we got 60 and we got 30. If you have bad connection you can choose 30 FPS. But if you have good connection you can use 60 FPS. Same for the bitrate. If you have good connection you can max it out. If you have bad connection just leave it 16. Streaming option I didn't change it. Tracking options I think 60 is the best. So keep Keep it like that and for the vr view options depends on your vr box so this is my vr settings for my shinecon vr box right now we're gonna press ok now we go to the next step and we need to open steam vr so we go right here and play steam vr and now preparing the stream steam vr is running right now and we need to set it up we go right here and we go to the room setup we're gonna choose standing only establish tracking place the headset in a location visible from the base stations headset it is ready so we're gonna press next calibrate your space stand in the middle of your cleared space while holding the headset so that is facing the default direction you want to face in vr and now we're gonna press calibrate i'm waiting now we're gonna press next locate the floor place the headset on a stable surface and click the calibrate floor button then measure the vertical distance between the surface and the floor and enter it below if you place your headset on the floor enter zero if you place it on your head enter your height so we're gonna do 110 and we're gonna calibrate the floor let's go next and now the setup is completed so we're gonna press done the bad thing about this vr box shinecon i can't use my glasses so i have to remove it so i can use it now i did open content manager for aceto corsa so i can change to open vr not single monitor so my vr box can work on aceto corsa that's it and now guys we're gonna wear the headset and let's see what we can do with the vr okay guys i hope you can hear me and i'm wearing the headset and let's see what we can do Okay, I'm looking around and I'm a little bit like limited because of the cable looking to the right looking to the left We need to get it to 100. Yep, that's good man. The quality is not bad for it I like it like for real. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little headache because of wearing the VR for the first time So let's try to send it. I'm learning guys. It feels like the first time drifting 
for some reason because I'm using something different. Okay, second here, clutch kick. Damn. Okay, go this way. Not gonna lie, but I really like it, boys. Woo. Send it. Oh, the grass. Okay, where's my handbrake? Oh, yeah. The good thing I know where all my stuff, you know, the heat shifter, the handbrake. Woo. That's crazy. Guys, if you have phone and it supports VR, you gotta try this thing, man. Man, I'm getting a little bit dizzy because this is my first time I'm using. Oh, no. Okay, hold it. Hold it, Supra. Woo. Eating the grass right there. Ooh, super close, I think. There is another program like Riftcraft and it's called, I think, Arian. Arian VR, but I did test it. It's not the best. I gave it like two, I think. And this one, I think I'm gonna give it eight. It is good, man. I like the quality, everything looks good, but maybe it needs some adjustment to look better. Oh, the grass. Come on, try not to die. Come on. 360. Woo. Okay, guys, we did change the map, and let's see if we can do like a clean lap on Drift Playground. Here we go. Woo. That was good. Transition, no problem. Oh, oversteer. We have to do like a second lap because the first lap isn't the best. Oh, flush kick. I feel like this is gonna be the best lap. Come on. Oh, we did touch the grass right there. Hold it. Last time I did oversee right here. Woo. That was super close. Man, I feel like a newbie, like for real. Yeah, we have to practice more to become better. That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash the like button, share this with your friends. Also comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little button so you don't miss out anything. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.